Honeybees are the quintessential hive workers flying around all day from flower to flower in order to collect nectar to make honey. Now, as one can imagine, they're quite protective of the fruits of their labours, and any creature stupid enough to try and steal it will often be met with a barrage of stings. But as a certain Chaos series said, life, uh, finds a way. So some insects have developed pretty devious methods to pilfer that delicious prize. This is Acherontia retropos, the death's head hawk moth, and to some of you it may look very familiar as it appeared on the poster for Silence of the Lambs, but rather than sharing Dr. Lecter's taste for human flesh, this macabre looking moth prefers the sweeter things in life and will often raid beehives in search of honey. Like all potential intruders, they are attacked as soon as they try and enter, but survive due to their thick cuticle, which acts like armour. However, once inside, the bees seem to ignore their new house gears, even if it is raiding in the pantry. Now this may seem quite puzzling at first, as bees aren't generally known for being the giving up sort. So how does the moth go around without being attacked continuously? The answer is, it smells like a bee. Now, to understand why this works, you must first understand that bees, like many social insects, recognise their nestmates by the presence of certain chemicals on their cuticle known as cuticular hydrocarbons, which gives them a very particular aroma, and therefore any workers around it think that the moth is just a giant bee and leave it alone. But these moths aren't the only insects to have developed this disguise. In fact, many species who make their homes in social insect nets, also known as inclines if you're feeling posh, smell like their hosts. So there you go. Despite its rather dull appearance, their head hawk moth is actually a stinky super sleuth and a master cat burglar. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video guys, and if you did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later.